Duffus Group, selling land and the equipment to farm it. On Wednesday, February 20th, we held a farm auction for Nathan Smith in Sawyer, North Dakota. Hey guys, Bethany Kudrowski here reporting for Stephas for our Fargo location. We're back from our hiatus that the weather made us take, and we are here in Sawyer, North Dakota for the Nathan Smith auction. As you can see behind me, we have a great, incredible line of John Deere tractors ready to sell. Nathan Smith, a young farmer and real estate mogul in and around the Minot area, is looking to update things around the farm, and so is selling his current line of equipment, including spring equipment, tractors, semi-trucks, and hopper bottom trailers. Oh. Chris, Levi, what brings you to the auction today? How did you find out about our auction? Well, I knew, I, I know the farmer. I uh, do some business with him, and uh, we got a couple of trucks I'm looking at. So you just knew it by word of mouth? Yeah, kind of word of mouth. But I, I mean, I go online a lot and look at your guys' auctions, so I knew it that way, too. All right, well, awesome. So glad to hear that. And Levi, how'd you hear about our auction? Uh, I heard it online and kind of word of mouth, too. Okay, well, right on. And you said you did business with Nathan. What kind of business? Well, I own a seed and chemical business, so I sell some chemical and uh, some seed to Nathan. Okay. So, yeah, Optimum Mag Solutions. Well, thanks so much for coming, guys. Really appreciate you being here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nathan had an extensive lineup of tractors to sell, from big to small. But the two that became the top sellers were the 2009 9630, with just over 4,000 hours on it, selling for $130,000. And one of John Deere's most attractive tractor models, the 2010 9230, selling for an impressive $139,000. Though spring might feel like it's eons away from arriving, the farmers here prepare themselves nonetheless by eyeing up the air seeder to get ahead of the curve on the spring equipment. Nathan's great lineup of semi-trucks brought in regular prices, with the 2008 Peterbilt coming in at $31,000 showing just under 600,000 miles. The Timpty Super Hoppers were a hot commodity, averaging at just over $21,000, with the highest sold price going to the 2013 model reaching $25,500. Well, guys, we're wrapping up our first live on-site auction of 2019 with some pretty great success. To view all of the results for today's auction, head to our website at stephasgroup.com. And while you're there, don't forget to check out all of our news articles and upcoming events. Also, click and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of our auction previews and recaps. Until next time, this is Bethany Kudrowski.